drawing even a trace of blood. He blindfolds the assistant in order to spare her the horror of looking down the barrel of a loaded gun. The magician moves across the stage and is handed a specially designed rifle. He checks the barrel, then asks for the ammunition he'll need to discharge his weapon. The gun is cocked and ready. Now for the arrow. Since it will be traveling at a high rate of speed, he ties a ribbon around it so you can follow its path through our assistant's body and into the target. He loads the arrow into the barrel of the gun. Now he's ready to fire. He gets down on one knee, takes aim, bullseye. You can see that the ribbon has traveled straight through our assistant's stomach and into the target. That's gotta hurt. Let's watch it again. The arrow passes through her body and into the center of the bullseye. But where's the blood? And what is the secret? In order to understand how this complicated illusion is achieved, let's check out each of the elements. First, the gun. While it is real, it never actually fires. The shell is a blank that merely creates a puff of smoke when the trigger is pulled. Next, the arrow. Although it's loaded into the gun, it never leaves the barrel. The end of the ribbon is tied to a thin piece of fishing line that is virtually invisible to the naked eye. The fishing line runs behind the magician's arm and body to keep it hidden from view. The ribbon is loosely wrapped around the arrow so it will easily slip off during the trick. When the illusion begins, the fishing line is already strung along a path that runs from the ribbon across the floor and into a metal tube concealed beneath our assistant's dress. The fishing line enters the tube, goes around her body, out the back of the tube, and into a hole in the center of the target. See our magical stagehand behind the target? He's there for a reason. We'll tell you why in a minute. Meanwhile, the fishing line continues out the back of the target and is attached to a sandbag hanging 30 feet above the warehouse floor. At the moment the gun is discharged, the sandbag is released and its weight pulls the fishing line and ribbon straight through our assistant. Let's take another look. The magician fires. The ribbon is pulled from the gun through the tube that wraps around the assistant and into a hole in the target. I know what you're thinking. If the arrow never leaves the gun, then how does it hit the target? Here's the secret. A second arrow is actually concealed within this vertical black stripe. Behind the target, our stagehand waits to release the arrow on cue. See the arrow dropping into position? Seems complicated, but it's really